boyfriend of 10 years broke up with me over a game. Okay here it goes. I was nervous about posting this but screw it. So this isn't totally DND related but I use dice in my Conan server so yay. Anyway, I run a Conan RP server for my friends and I, and it's been going pretty well so far. For a long time every time I've tried to run an RP server it has always gone wrong in some way somehow someone has had an issue. This time though, things are different. This time everyone has been having a good time and getting along. Uh, and here's how it started. So back when we were still dating I would tell my boyfriend everything. We had lots in common and generally enjoyed each other's company with or without the rest of the friend group as a couple should. For some context, it was a long distance relationship and I know what you're going to say. Those kinds of relationships never work out well we made it work. We made it work for a long time in fact for about 10 is almost. You see I'm disabled, so the fact that a guy could love someone like me knowing all the BS I've had to deal with and still deal with was a godsend. We met through a video game. Cringe I know, but it's not like I can just go out and meet people. Anyways I would tell him everything and so would he, we even fell asleep in party chats a few times. Fast forward to a few weeks ago and I started telling him about my RP server. I figured since he liked hearing about my DND sessions that this would be no different boy was I wrong. So I start telling him about the stuff that had been going on in game at first he wasn't interested in joining my RP server even thought another one of our friends wanted him to. The way I run the server is that people would be given the password once they make a character sheet and that's where this becomes a horror story. Remember how I said he wasn't interested in joining? Well every so often my friend would ask if my boyfriend was going to join. I would say no probably not until one evening when he decided that yes, he was going to join. I got exited and started yelling him more about what's been happening in game. I told him about people's characters and stuff like that. But then it occurred to me, and I asked oh wait do you have the DLC map? I should have told him beforehand as it likely would had saved me some trouble but it completely slipped my mind since we tend to game share. However had I known what trouble this would cause I would had done this god different if I could have. He then proceeded to get upset at me saying he didn't have the DLC and that he didn't care for it and thought we were playing on the original map. He also said that I wasted his time because he apparently spent half a day working on his character sheet but it was pointless now even though all he had to do was get it off me. But no he threw a tantrum saying that you never told me anything beforehand just told me to join newsflash nobody was really told anything cause it's all self explanatory on the discord so all he had to do was make his character. It also didn't help that I told him that my character had a child with a friend's character. I asked him if he had a problem with it and he said no and asked how. It was pretty much the characters got drunk and practiced diplomacy, but it wasn't ERP or anything like that just fade to black and a bad dice roll. Now me, my boyfriend and this friend in game all know each other and he's married so I wasn't doing this to cheat on my boyfriend. We just thought of it as stupid fun. But my boyfriend however did not. This incident has taught me to never take what someone says at face value ever again. Because even though he said it didn't bother him, it actually did bother him when we talked days later. By that time though he had already thrown in the towel that was our relationship. It was devastating and had me in tears for many nights after. When we did talk it out however and I found out his issues I guess I can understand from his point of view. But if he had just told me it bothers him I could have changed things. I asked him what now. Because we do still care for each other and he said it's your choice I told him I didn't want it to be my choice I wanted the feeling to be mutual and said maybe it's best if we go on our own separate arcs so to speak. For some extra context, remember how I said we were together tenders. In this time frame we haws already broke up three times before this. No we hadn't seen each other in person face to face which should have been a red flag now thinking about it I told him that the third time was his last chance and he's done well up until this point which is disappointing and sad. TLDR. Boyfriend breaks off a 10 year relationship because he couldn't handle my character having a child with another character that isn't his. Update. So I thought I would give a small update on my last post. I did unfortunately hang out with my now ex-boyfriend in a party chat alone and fell asleep talking to him. When I woke up though I was sad because I felt like I had slept in a bed that I didn't belong in anymore. But that solidified how I felt about him now I laid there and thought I don't want this. I don't want to feel like this anymore and though I still cry at night sometimes. For the most part I'm okay and I'm trying to move on. My ex however has tried some interesting BS though. We would be playing a game and I'd call out to him because he was being stupid or not paying attention and he would reply with babe. To which I replied with a no once he even asked how long am I on the couch for. And I said you broke up with me. There is no couch so yeah I'm not leaving him get to me. I can deal with him him in parties because he's still part of the friend group but I've begun to tune him out when he acts flirty. I'm moving on it's going to be difficult but I can do this.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more stories.